James Kroll is our special guest. His website is www.mortalmist.com. And James, what is the connection between psi and quantum physics? Uh, again, it's a speculative one. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of theories as to what accounts for psi phenomenon. I, I think the evidence for psi is overwhelming. Mm-hmm. And if you really look at the statistical basis and, and, and experiments and so forth, um, there's a lot of speculation. Certainly the, the one that, that jives with me the best is, in, is the notion of a multiverse. It, it, it's pretty clear when you dig into quantum physics that there is this connection between consciousness and matter. Um, there are those who speculate that human consciousness basically forks off different universes. I know that sounds like a rather profound yes. concept. It's not my own. Uh, many excellent quantum physicists believe the same thing. Um, in, interestingly, if, if you believe the notion that consciousness forks off multiverses or, or copies of the universe that you're a part of and, and you sort of stick one of them, if you will, it, it, it's interesting because the way I've actually modeled this dream sci experiment is to say, well, what if you left out those cards at a particular point in time, some sequence of events forked off a different universe? Mm-hmm. What if the dreaming mind is a projection into that universe? Um, you'd be extracting information from that space without turning over the cards in your real world. Um, it, it, it's sort of beyond the scope of what we could talk about on the radio. You know, there's a number of, of sketches and, and conjectures I have on, on the website that kind of speak to that hypothesis. What about uh, mortalmist.com? What can our listeners find out about that? You know, Mortal Mist was um, started up about two years ago. There's plenty of other lucid dreaming sites on the Internet, sites that boast 10, 20,000 members. Mortal Mist is a very small, very intimate site. Um, right now we have about 400 members or so. It's been up and running for about two years. I would call it more of a mature, it's very comprehensive, um, you know, very... Uh, easy to sort of uh, acclimate yourself and, and get some help from some more experienced lucid dreamers. Um, you know, the thing I would offer to your listeners is that I'm sort of re- um, heading up what we call the Research Guild, where we're proposing a number of scientific experiments that leverage lucid dreaming um, for, for, you know, the, the, the purpose of science. Um, so I've got a call for participation uh, for people to try the cranial electrostimulation technology for lucid dream induction. I need a lot more data and a lot more human experience in that regard to understand how effective it is. Um, we've got some ongoing experiments with regard to psi phenomena. Um, I've got some conjectures of my own, and uh, again, these are not my own conjectures, but you know, there are certain people who believe that you know dreamers or astral voyagers are connected to ghosts in yeah. some sense. I, uh, again, I don't think it's <laughs> I don't think it's radically far fetched, but the, the question becomes. If, in fact, ghosts or astral voyagers or lucid dreamers, how do you detect them? And, you know, again, if you can basically induce a lucid dream where you start in real work, in, in real life, if you will, well, then the notion of detecting an electromagnetic field, the notion of detecting negative or positive ions in relation to the astral projector or the lucid dreamer interacting with the real world, it becomes implementable. It's a provocative question and, and, and one that we're sort of just started to dig into. Dr. Kroll, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been a great pleasure talking to you and uh, getting a better insight into what lucid dreaming is. I wish you much success, and if there's anything we can do to help you with your experimentation or if you need to get a message out there, please let us know. We'll be glad to have you back on at any time. Oh, uh, my, my pleasure, Robin. Thank you very much for having me. Good night, Doctor. Dr. James Kroll, Exonation, www.mortalmist.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as the Exxon continues live and around the world from our studios in beautiful, sunny, and warm Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. (laughs) 